So welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to kind of go old school YouTube and do a what's in my purse video because I mean people still do it but it was like a huge trend back in the day and I love those kind of videos. I feel like I could just mindlessly watch those videos for hours on loop of what's in people's purses. Is anybody else out there kind of fascinated by being a little snoopy I guess and seeing what's in somebody else's purse? That's how I am. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay, here is the beauty. This is a, oh my gosh, I should look up the name. One second. Okay, so this is a Teddy Blake handbag. This is the Rachel Batalato 12 inch handbag invert gray, yes. And actually, this isn't sponsored, but Teddy Blake got a hold of me and they sent me a bag so that's pretty cool and I got this just a little bit ago I already love it it's definitely bigger than any other purse I've had but I've actually been needing more of like a tote handbag kind of purse this is 12 inches so to me this is huge compared to the little like cross bodies that I've had from fossil and years prior so this is definitely a what's in my big purse kind of video because I'm not gonna lie, I'm going to have my small purse from time to time too. Thank you Teddy Blake for reaching out to me. Um, I have to say the favorite part of my purse is this right here. Ah, oh, this suede is just, it's so soft. And it makes it so when you do this, you can open up your purse really well. But I notice when it's zipped up, it's pretty tight. Like it's not like it's just going to go everywhere. So it also has these little metal thingies on the bottom, whatever you call that, to protect the bottom of your purse. Of course, I love that they sent a strap. I I would die without a strap. I need this strap. I can't always just go like this. I need that strap that I could do as like a crossbody. For years I've really gotten into the habit of doing it crossbody style like this because I've learned it really does take off the weight of just having it on your right shoulder or your left, whatever one you just have it hanging from. And that way, you know, it, it, it distributes the weight better. So, I love that there's a strap. I love it so much. And this purse, like, it can get kind of heavy with all the stuff that I have. So, anyway, let's get straight into the purse. So, I'm gonna open up here and you're gonna see there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. What does Christina have going on in her giant purse? Okay, so, let's go to some obvious things first. So, I have my phone in here, um, that's kind of obvious. I'm gonna have my phone in here. So another item I have in this purse that's probably pretty obvious is my keys. Can't live without them. I have a Seahawks lanyard, go Hawks, of course. I'm not gonna go into too much detail over what's on my keychain. House key, car key for my little Toyota Camry. This is a little keychain from, um, Tone it up. I don't know if you've ever heard of the Tone It Up Girls. It says, share, love, inspire, sweat. <laughs> because it's a workout thing. It's got a little heart with an ocean in it and I just like that. And then I also have my library card. I don't need it though because I was a nerd, still am, and I memorized my library card number so don't really need them cards. I'm like those cool kids that's got it down. I can just be like, hey, this is my number, blah, 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 blah really impresses all the librarians. Um, and then I have this cool little Mount Rainier. It goes from wintertime to summertime with all those wildflowers. I thought that's cool. And on the back it blinks a little Jesus fishy that says WWJD. That's upside down. Sorry. WWJD, which means what would Jesus do, so that's always a good reminder. And last but not least on my good old keychain, I have pepper spray, some good old mace. As a female under 21, I highly recommend it. Of course, I'll keep this on me after I turn 21. But that's all I'm gonna say. I also take this with me when I go jogging. I'm not gonna have my purse jogging. I don't go jogging, what am I saying? When I go walking. When I go walking on my road, I take my pepper spray with me and I just detach it from my little keychain. But anyway, those are my keys. Wow, that was loud. So in my purse, I have my wallet. I got it off of Amazon um, for I think like under $10. And I just love like the little leaf. I love the little gold. It's got a little clasp that you just pop off. And 
there's my wallet. I don't want to show you too much of like my ID or anything. You guys can't know who I really am, okay? There's my license. I got like my cards. Let's see, I have my bank card, my Starbucks card, my Plenty card, my health insurance card, my my car insurance, my food handler's permit, and th so that's it for for there. Um, and then I unzip this little guy and we have a whole new compartment. On this side I have like receipts and cash, and then on this side I have a miscellaneous but organized-ish little pocket. This is where I will keep like ticket stubs that I still have to like file away into my like keepsake bag of tickets because you know. And I will keep stamp cards, a lot of stamp cards in here. I have a couple old Starbucks cards in here that I don't let like, go of like my old partner card, like I wanted to keep that. And stuck to it is a Seahawks card. And these are rare, not really, uh, but every year they get a new one. Airplane. Nope, it's still there. Oh my gosh. A fun little item in my wallet is a very, very old Dairy Queen coin. I have two actually, I have this paper one, and then I have this one. And I don't know if they will even honor it because it's so old. Um, and we're talking like probably over 10 years old. I still have them. Um, I never go to Dairy Queen. It says, present this coupon and receive one free Dairy Queen treat. You have your choice of a Dairy Queen sandwich, deli bar, or a three ounce cone. And then this one says, good for one five ounce size, free Sunday, or worth 40 cents off the regular price of any royal treat or blizzard flavor treat. Ooh, 40 cents, guys. I don't know why I'm hanging on to these. Maybe they'll become collector's items one day. That's like dust. Um, who knows, maybe I'll just cash them in one day. Maybe they won't allow me to, maybe they'll get upset. I don't know. So yeah, that is it for the wallet, I believe. Next in my purse, we have this little beauty. I love this bag. I got this from Forever 21. They have cute little bags. This is my little go-to makeup cosmetic bag for my purse. And I like to have it separated from the rest of my purse because it's so much more organized that way and I have to be organized. So in this we have lots of little body mists or roll-on perfumes or little spray perfume samples. I, I really love perfume, so uh, yeah, it's kind of a problem. I also have a little shanny. Is it shany or shanny? I've always called it shanny, but now that I look at it, it could be shanny. I feel like shanny would have an E. Comment down below if you know if it's like a Shaney or Shanny. Let's talk about the mascaras in my purse. So these are both CoverGirl mascaras. You probably all know what these are. They're the Lash Blast Volume, this one. Oh, my bad, this is Lash Blast Fusion, okay? So that means volume and length, that's right. This is the Lash Blast Full Lash Bloom. And I actually really like this formula. It reminds me a lot of the Fusion as far as the consistency goes. It's lengthening and voluming, but it's got like this really soft, formula to it like and it doesn't feel crunchy and some mascaras feel really crunchy I'm actually not wearing it right now but um these are delegated to my purse because they are old and they're getting dry and I have to kind of scrape them to work with them and I always just kind of huck those like in my purse like it's basically my less wanted or older makeup goes into this bag and maybe I need to upgrade this system are any of you guys like that do you put older like towards the end not as satisfying products just in a certain place that you slowly use. Next makeup item in this little baggy waggy is actually one of the things I got from my FabFitFun box that me and my sister did a video on. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It was a rollicking good time. Really fun to do an unboxing with her. So um, this is from Trestique and it is the shade Florence Fig. I already knew that. Keeping on the lip category, I also have an EOS lip balm. I know that that kind of looks strangely like a nipple. I'm sorry. Maybe that's TMI. But um, the way I apply it, I like do that. Like I don't know why. So there's like that little hole in my lips. So it makes it look like that. Um, I think that's probably TMI. Okay, so last item in this little bag is a little baby hairbrush. It looks... Well loved, doesn't it? This has got to literally be 
push in 10 years old. I always like to have a little hairband or two around here. I cannot tell you how awesome it is to have a hairbrush in your purse. So that is that. Next in this giant purse, this hot pink case. And I got this from the dollar store. I have a pair of sunnies that are actually really kind of dirty right now. And um, you know, they're like that Ray-Ban style. They aren't actually Ray-Bans. But yeah, I keep them in a little case so they don't get scratched. This is, this is actually really helpful. Dollar store people, I'm telling you, is where it is at. Speaking of dollar store, shameless plug randomly right now happening in this moment. Um, I'm gonna be doing a collab with a bunch of YouTube friends. We're all participating in a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY challenge. So that means that very soon I'm gonna be uploading a video, not even on a Friday, very soon meaning Monday guys, December 4th, I'm going to be uploading a video. Anyway, just throwing that out there for any of you that are interested in more videos. Next item I have in my purse is this little guy. So what is this you might ask? Well, ladies and gents, this is a small book of great ideas. And shout out to my best friend in Colorado. She's also my pen pal. We got to know each other through being pen pals when we were 12 years old. Could make another video on that. That is a whole other story time kind of thing. Um, I love her dearly. And I just wrote on here, thoughts, ideas, and questions. When I need like a hard copy of something, someone needs me to write my number down. <laughs> That's not what I meant. But somebody needs me to, to, to like give them a copy of something. Anyway, I have this. Clarissa, I love you. Thank you so much for sending this to me. It is perfect for my purse. Also, of course, have a pen in here that is attached to my checking book that my bank gave me. Kind of boring, I'm not gonna go into detail over it all, but I will say, <laughs> like, okay, me and my little brother Luke have this ongoing game where we will cut out a picture of, in the newspaper or magazine of a random person, and we will take that picture of whoever this poor innocent person is, and we will cut it out and stick it and put it on random stuff. Um, this used to be on his hair gel. You know, it's kind of this ongoing game, and it's it's over a course of time. This guy's been in here for a while. I kind of don't want to part with him. I'm kind of, I think I'm developing feelings for this man. I'm just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Next, we have this little guy. So, I don't know if any of you have heard of Alec earphones. I got these on Amazon. Um, the earphones in here, earbuds, whatever you call it, I got from Panasonic. And they are, you know, still tangled. The whole purpose of this was to not make it tangled. I bet they'll untangle pretty easily. There we go, look at me being organized. So um, yeah, I have some earbuds because you know, you never know when you're gonna want to just chill out. So next in my bag, I have these grapefruit makeup wipes or just wipes for your butt. No, I'm just kidding. Um, they are the Love & Beauty brand, so Forever 21. Grapefruit Pamplemousse. I don't know if I've actually ever taken the time to read that word. Grapefruit Pamplemousse. That's actually a really awesome word. Um, smells like grapefruit. So next in my purse, we're almost done by the way. I have this guy right here. Look at this. It's got like nail clippers, a little pair of scissors, those two things I use definitely the most often. This little toolkit is very handy to have, especially scissors. A little pair of scissors can like change your life in a certain circumstance. You might need scissors to save somebody's life. Okay, so next in my bag, I have two hand creams. I don't know why I have two but I do. So this is another Bodycology item. This is Scarlet Kiss. Very, very fragrant. Oh my word. I think I need to actually take this out of my purse because I will be in church and I'll like really want to moisturize my hands. I don't know why, because I'm sitting down and I'm looking at my hands. And uh, I will put this on and it's just like, it's like a distraction. It's so potent. Then I have my Bath and Body Works Valley Blue Surf 
Ultra Shea 24 hour moisturizer. I actually got this from my best friend Claire, Clarissa. Either I, I call her Claire or Clarissa. She actually gave this to me when I went to Colorado this last July. And uh, she set up like a little, like it was almost like a little hotel gift. It was this and next thing in here, a little like, it's almost gone, but a little disinfectant spray. It smells so good. What else was in it? Oh, and also some body wash. So it was like a little like, a little hotel gift setup. Anyway, and then I have, if you look and see, my purse is empty now. Also, I never said anything about the inside, but look at the inside, it's so pretty. So right in here, I have my Dulles Store hand sanitizer. Yeah. And then the last item I have in here in this other little pouch is some extra gum. I have to have gum. Like you don't understand, like I will go crazy if I do not have gum on me. Um, I'm kind of paranoid of not having gum, so sometimes I'll literally have two packs in here. I don't know, it's a problem. I love gum so much. I love gum. So last little part of my purse. We have this zipper. And I'm gonna open it up and you are gonna see what is inside. I like to call my secret pocket. This is my secret pocket. I have ibuprofen, essential, especially when I can feel those cramps coming on and I need to just pop some pain pills. I try not to have this too often, but when I need it, it's a godsend. So yes, ibuprofen. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. Have you ever heard of the Sphinx razors? I got an ad for it this summer on my Instagram, actually. They sucked me in. And uh, here I am today with this in my purse. Airport friendly. It is a uh, on the go portable razor and you have your little spray bottle that needs water. Um, and so you spray your legs and then you twist it and then you apply the shea butter and then you shave. You guys, you legitimately just, you just, you shave. Oh. Gotta be careful. How kind of awesomely cool is that? It's pretty cool. I had to use this actually a couple times. Um, and this was in summer. And I had noticed I missed a solid patch like just going up my leg. I was like, nah, nah. I got my sphinx. <laughs> Next in here, a kind of weird item that might kind of weird you guys out. But this is a diva cup. Uh, well, a diva cup inside of its holder. I'm not gonna actually take it out. That is just. I'm not gonna do that. If any of you are curious what a diva cup is and you're terrified at the thought of a diva cup, I could, I guess I could make a video on it. That might be a little TMI, a little out of my comfort zone, but who knows, I could make a video on it, how I use it, how to use it, um, pros and cons, um, and why I have converted to the Diva Cup. Let me know if you want me to make a separate video on this. It's definitely, in order to go into detail, it just becomes too TMI and you might not be wanting to know a thing about it. So moving on, I have a little first aid kit. This is just in case I have a wound that is bleeding profusely and I need to cover it in a band-aid. So you guys, that is it for what is in my purse, my bag, my tote, my, my large, beautiful, leather, Italian designer purse. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I really enjoy watching these kinds of videos, so I knew that one day I'd need to make a what's in my purse video. So I don't always use a large purse, but when I do, that is all that is in it. Okay, if you guys liked watching this kind of video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Just, just let me know like what you felt about it. And go ahead and comment below what type of purse is your favorite type of purse. Also, just another quick reminder, this Monday I am uploading that Christmas DIY Dollar Tree Challenge video and I got some pretty good stuff. I got some pretty cute crafts. I think you guys would enjoy it, maybe get a little inspired because I mean, it's a dollar store. So, you know, it can't be too complicated. It can't be too expensive. And you know me, I'm not like this big artsy fartsy person. Did I just say artsy fartsy? I just said artsy fartsy. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your weekend. Keep smiling and have a wonderful day. Okay, so this is the Rachel Batalato grip. Okay, so this is the Teddy Blake 12 inch 
Rachel Batalato 12 inch. Did I already say that? Ugh. Ba bam. And it's also 2.17 p.m. Sweat, share, love, inspire. Sweat and share. I don't know if those should be together. Share sweat. Okay. Yeah, it's still stuck in my head from junior high, that phase I went into. Hack it up, hack it up. Hack it up, hack it up. There we go. And you just you just need it, you know? Like it's so conveniently there and you're like, ah, oh, I didn't spend too much money today. And then you're like, dun dun dun. Lots of lots of uh Oh my gosh, is that a rock on here? What the crap? This is a little canair. Conair, Conair, oh my gosh, just wow. I look in the mirror and I'm like, I need a hairbrush. They all could look like their designer if you work at it hard enough. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> or I need to like sketch something out. Sketch, I'm not an artist, why would I sketch something out? Uh, big words are a little overwhelming. Uh, I tend to use these in a situation where I have like sticky crap on my hands. Where I have like sticky stuff on my hands. So I don't know what's going on with my nails. I still have a little bit of like that gel stuff that they put on from months ago. <sighs> I have a boatload of nail polish, but I, I, I should, I should, I should paint my nails more. It kills 99.99% of germs. Why am I so stupid? Wherever I might be at, where I would be like hugging people or like being near to people, I don't know, I'm paranoid about my breath smelling weird. That's why I have to get scented lip balms and like gum, but whatever, anyway. Um, go ahead, give it, go ahead, give it, go ahead and, oh my gosh. I don't know what this dance move is, but I like it. Gotta move my camera up. Okay, I think we're good.